Hi guys, I'm Elliot Baker and I'm the founder of Tint School Online, Global Tint UK and Global Tint USA. And we have a combined total of now 180 tinting locations. Now I'm gonna give you another freebie from inside our course, just to show you the detail of what we do here at Tint School Online with our 100 plus lectures that we offer dedicated to opening a business from you know tint training to getting the work and so much more. Now I'm sure you've looked at you know those other videos on YouTube with their 20 minute tutorials of you know how to tint windows from start to finish and you've realized now that it isn't as easy as it looks. Now, if you want to apply to join our program, please contact us on Facebook, just search Tint School Online, but we only take on select members in order to preserve this industry, as we do have the secrets to open up anywhere and be making money straight away. Now, enjoy the video. So in this tutorial, we're going to be doing checking over the work and rectifying any mistakes if possible. So the reason I say if possible is because sometimes you just can't fix it and you will need to redo it and start again. So I'm just going to go through the main things to look for and there are five of them. Fingers and spears, water bubbles, specks and contamination, creases, and hairs and fibers. So I'm gonna show you how to look for all these things when we're checking over the vehicle. I would highly recommend getting the vehicle outside for these checks, as you can see everything so much clearer in natural daylight. So what I like to do is on my first check, I'll break this window down in three parts. So the top third, middle third, and bottom third. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking for those five things that I've mentioned. So the middle, and then the bottom. So we've done our first check. The next check is to go over both the sides and the bottom. So again, I'm just looking for specks, any water bubbles, or any fingers that are coming in off the side or any creases. So this installation actually went on really well. So what I've done is I've just created a few common problems so we can go over them together and try to rectify them. So the first area that we're gonna pay attention to is down this side and we have a few specks. So as I mentioned before, this is the most problematic area for specs down the sides. So as you can see on this camera angle, you can actually see the specs and contamination. So the white glowing part around it is air that's trapped around the specs. Now this is the only reason that the specs stand out because of this white glow around it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat the area and we're gonna chisel the specs out using our little chiseler tool. So once we remove all the air from around the specs, it will pretty much be invisible. So the specs won't go, just the air around the specs. So sometimes the contamination can be too much and you will have to just take it off and start again. So this stage requires a lot of use with the heat gun. So we're gonna use a three second rule. We're only gonna to touch the heat on the glass for three seconds as we really wanna avoid overheating as it will just blister up the film and in most cases you'll have to start again. I'm gonna heat it for three seconds, again being very careful of the rubber here. So you don't wanna be pointing in there because you're just gonna get the rubber so we kinda of wanna point away like this. So one, two, three. And then we're gonna use our contour. Now what this will do is it will get all the water out meaning it's gonna be easier to chisel. So as you can see, some of these specks have already disappeared just from the first initial push. So now we're gonna get our chiseler and we're just gonna work on one speck at a time. And we're just chiseling back and forth. So you literally just have to do one speck at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another three second heat on it because there's a few specks that are being quite stubborn. You want to be very careful that when the film is hot, the chiseler 
can smudge the glue. So it very much depends also on the angle of the chiseler, which is why we always hold it flat to the glass. If you find that the glue is smudged, you will simply just have to take it off and start again as there's no fix for this. So once you get to the stage where you can install the film with a very little amount to no specs, that's where you're really gonna start picking up speed. We've taken out all of the air around the specs so they're almost invisible. So I'll show you a quick before. And then here's after. So the contamination and specs are still in behind the film, but the air has been removed. So the next one is gonna be a finger that's in the side. So it's quite common to have them in the side and you have to remember that you can't just simply shrink these back in as the film only shrinks up or down. So we're again gonna heat the outside of the glass with the three second rule. And we're gonna use our contour and we're just gonna push it back in. So again, away from the rubber. Contour nice and flat. So it's being quite stubborn, so we might have to add another three seconds of heat on this one. So we'll do three more seconds. So as you've seen there, you do have to be quite persistent if it keeps coming back. Just keep adding more heat and then just keep pushing it and it will eventually stick. So I'm just going to chisel out the rest of these specks in here. there. The next one, we just have a small crease that I've left in the corner. Creases are quite common and it's usually to do with how you handle the film. So the same rules apply to this as they do to the specs and the finger. We're going to grab our heat gun, wait for it to warm up and then three seconds away from the rubber. Then we'll grab our contour. Push all the water away from the area. And then we we'll use our chiseler. Just do single strokes and just try to get all the air out of the crease. Then I'll just chisel it to make sure it doesn't come back. there so completely removed and it didn't take long at all sometimes the creases can be too big so from the outside you can get all the air out but from the inside it'll be too noticeable and it will just need to come off and you'll have to start again so we have before and now after now the next one is a really good example because it's very hard to see it's a small fiber in the glass and the reason it's hard to see is because the film is still so wet. So the water will dry out of the film eventually, revealing that hair. So we're just gonna deal with that now. So it's really important to really check over the film hard to make sure you don't miss things like this. So even specs can be disguised like this if there's enough water in the film. So the hair is actually in shot with the camera. I'm just gonna push the water out of it. There. So if you can feel that hair in the film of your fingernail, it is worth just taking it off and starting again. Now this hair is gonna to be too big to get away with, so I would recommend just taking this off and starting again. In the advanced courses, we'll show you how to retrieve the hairs out of the film, but it's a lot to take in. And again, this is just all about the basics on this course, just to get you to grips. So the final one is just a rogue bubble. So these are just bubbles that you've missed when you're installing the film. Quite simple, just grab your contour and we're just gonna push it to the edge. 
like that. So next, we just want to wipe down the inside of the glass, checking for any minor scratch marks or any other imperfections that we may have missed. We'll come around the front and wipe the outside just to make sure it looks presentable and the panel. So that concludes checking over the work and rectifying any mistakes if possible. Thank you.